Renewable resources are those that regenerate naturally at a higher rate than their consumption. In other words, they can continuously supply us without harming future generations. In this The Daily Eco video, we explain what differentiates them from non-renewable resources and we give you some examples. Let's get started! Differences between renewable and non-renewable resources Renewable resources can be regenerated quickly and are found in large quantities. In contrast, non-renewable resources regenerate very slowly and are therefore limited. In addition, obtaining energy from renewable resources is more beneficial for the environment because they are constantly regenerated. Although in some cases, such as hydroelectric plants or wind farms, the environment deteriorates from its infrastructures. Obtaining renewable resources still implies a higher cost compared to obtaining non-renewable resources. Likewise, with non-renewable resources, more energy is produced and it is well known how to obtain it. Another difference is that renewable resources are present all over the planet. In contrast, non-renewable resources can only be found in specific areas around the world, something that causes conflict between countries and creates economic inequality. Examples of renewable resources As we have mentioned before, renewable resources are those that regenerate quickly and can be found in large quantities. Can you think of any examples? Let's take a look at a couple of them. Water with this renewable resource, hydraulic, tidal, and wave energy is generated. In addition, it is also used for the food industry, personal use, and even for recreational use. Water is a vital resource for any living being, and unfortunately, the inhabitants of many countries die because of scarcity of this resource. Geothermal This renewable resource is from the internal heat of the Earth that originates in the core of the planet. The Sun Heat and electricity can be obtained from solar radiation thanks to the well-known solar panels to transform the sun's rays into energy. The downside is that you need to make a large financial investment at the beginning, so not everyone can afford it. Before we continue, let's put you to the test. How many hours of sunshine do you think it takes to meet the energy needs of the entire world population for an entire year? A. One hour B. 3 hours or C. 5 hours Have you thought about it? The correct answer is A. Enough solar energy falls each hour to meet the world's energy needs for an entire year. Wind It is also possible to obtain energy from the wind using wind turbines. This energy, called wind power, is clean and renewable energy since wind is an inexhaustible resource. However, wind turbines produce noise pollution and can generate erosion when located in mountainous areas. Plants These are used in the food and pharmaceutical industries. In addition, plants provide us with wood, paper, and thanks to them, energy can be generated with biomass. Unfortunately, there is an overexploitation of this resource and this causes the desertification of the soil. Animals these are considered a renewable source of food as they provide food for humans and other animals. In addition, they are also used in the textile industry for work in the field and other leisure uses. However, as a consequence of the overexploitation of this resource, among other related problems, forests are being deforested for intensive livestock farming, something that's causing a lot of controversy. Examples of non-renewable resources there are also non-renewable resources, which, as we have mentioned before, are those resources that are found in nature in a limited way, since they need long periods of time to regenerate and our rate of consumption of these are much higher. Next, we're going to see some examples of non-renewable resources. Oil. This is a good example of non-renewable resource as it cannot be regenerated. When the oil reserves are exhausted, it will not be possible to get oil again. In fact, it is estimated that at the current rate of extraction, all the world's oil reserves will be depleted in 50 years. Minerals With mining, minerals and other materials are extracted from the Earth's crust. These are all limited. Once all the useful material has been extracted from a field, they abandon it and continue to exploit other areas. Natural gas This is found under the layers of the Earth, so it is also necessary to excavate to obtain it. The fields that are responsible for extracting this gas are limited. 
and for this reason, natural gas is a non-renewable resource. In fact, it's closely linked to the non-renewable natural resource of oil. We hope you found this video helpful and interesting. If so, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.